Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very happy that you are here today. I hope that you had a safe end of year 2023. And no matter what situation you lived in 2023, good and bad, I hope you use those as positive lessons in 2024 to live a better, healthier, happier life. I hope you are preparing yourself to progress in 2024 in different aspects of life. Let's start our first video for 2024. In today's video, I want to start the year of 2024 decorating my personal planner. So this is a brand new planner that I will be using for this year. The last one that I had was an 18 month planner. So it started in June of 2022 and it ended in December of 2023. So this one is a brand new planner for 2024. And this time I only purchased a 12 month calendar planner. So let's start. I'm using this Moterm cover that I have been using for over a year now. I have probably about two years. And it's still looking great because I keep it safe. I keep it in good shape and I take care of it so it doesn't get messed up because of course they're not cheap. <laughs> but this is where I keep it, my planner. I try to use one pen most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. One pen when I'm writing in my planner. So this one is from Planny Thing and I love the color because this is like a rose gold color. So I keep that here. Yeah. And this is the planner that I will be using for 2024. Time is joy in simplicity. This is a mom collection from the Happy Planner. So everything here is empty. But I like to keep it empty because I don't want it to be bulky. I don't take it anywhere, so I don't need any extra anything. If I do need to take it somewhere, then I will add in here anything that I will need while I'm out. But in the meantime, it stays like this. So this is the planner that I will be using. I haven't even put my name here yet. I don't know if I will be. But for now, I have not marked anything on this planner yet. So one change that I would like for the Happy Planner to do, I don't know if anybody has thought about it, but the divider, I love the dividers that they have here, but I wish they were front and back, like that we can reuse them if we want to, or if we need to. So if they were front and back, that would be so perfect. And then this sheet right here, instead of being at the end of the month, because when we remove pages, when we, when we remove um, months, out of our planner because we want to either Franken plan or it's time to remove the first quarter and go to the second quarter. It would be great to have this currently page or this whatever you want to call it page and have it here inside the monthly. I think that would be so amazing because you just change to that month and you have everything here and then here is where I will start my calendar. So like that, if you want to keep using your dividers because of X and Y reason, you still have a clean divider that you can use and all you have to change is just your currently page and then your monthly sheets. So I wish that was something that Happy Planner would do. I think it would be a great idea and I think more people would like it actually because then you keep everything for that month under that tab for the month instead of having it on a separate month. But this is the planner that I will be using for 2024 as my personal planner. And I'm a little bit scared of this one because I have always used a vertical planner. This is the first time I'm using a dashboard for my personal planner. So I'm not sure how I will be able to use it, not decorate it, but use it. Because I don't know how to use this page right here. This is the only page that is making me a little bit nervous, I guess. Um, because I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. I know I would like to list anything that I need to get done during that week here. But I don't know what I would do with these pages here. I mean with these boxes here. So it's something that I have to figure out as I go. And um, and see what how I can use it. But this is going to be the planner that I will be using for 2024 as my personal planner. So 
So what I would like to do, and I'm, I'm going to speed this up. I would like to start decorating the calendar. So for this decoration, I have pulled out this sticker book from Live Love Push. This one is Hello Winter. And I want to use this stickers right here, this ones for my monthly. So I think I'm gonna fast forward this because I really want to decorate the first week of the year with you guys. So I think I want to add some stuff here, but I don't wanna take my time in the whole video just for this part. So I think I'm gonna fast this uh, forward really fast and probably just talk through the video. It has been a few days later. Um, I didn't have time to finish, so I'm going to go ahead and continue my decoration now. And I want to add a washi tape from the Papillon collection from the Happy Planner. I think I want to put this bow right here where it says notes. Just add my bow right there. And the washi tape that I want to add is this one right here. I think this will go great with this decoration. Let's see if I can lift this up and put it right under it. So I'm gonna leave this one like this. When I plan my monthly, I don't like to pack it too much. So I think this is good enough. There's only two important things that I have um, these two days. I know I have something else on this weekend, but I cannot remember what it is right now. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because that's that's just pending for now. Um, but these two days are very important. Well, this one is the National Sticker Day. And then this is a, um, I have an assembly day on that day. So, I'm gonna move on to my weekly, finally. This has taken me three days to get to this point. So I'm hoping I can actually finish today. Um, and I wanted to use, so I'm gonna use this one for this week. And like I said, this is my personal 
planner. I am not sure how I'm going to use this part right here. And because I'm not sure, let me just concentrate on the weekly first. And then I'll see how I decorate this because I don't even know how I'm going to use it. So let me just put it to the side for now. So we can just concentrate on this page right here. And let me get uh, some boxes out. Let's see what size boxes I want. Like I said, this is a JoJo sticker book. I think I want this one's right here. And I want to use her. Great. She's going to be too tall. She's going to cover the 24. So I'm going to put her on Wednesday. Put that here and put her right here. Maybe do this one right here. I cannot follow the book because this is a little bit like sideways. So I gotta follow the tea mug. Not coffee, tea. That's what I drink the most, tea. Um, let me add another box on Friday. I'll add this one right here. And I'm gonna have to add a little ones. One on Tuesday and Saturday. I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a fox or something. And let me just put this right here. Hmm. I don't want to add this because I already have this one. So. I think I'll just add this right here. And let me get some washi tape. Because I have a lot of washi tape that I hardly ever use. So. Let me get maybe this washi I can use. Okay, so let's move on now to the difficult part. <laughs> Do I have bullet points here? Because I would like to add some bullet points, but I don't know. I don't know if there's any. I don't think there's any here in this sticker book. I think these are just boxes. Let me see if I can find some bullet points. I know I have bullet points, but I cannot find them. I don't know where they are, like in which sticker book they are. So once I find them, I'm gonna just add. A few here just to fill that space out and let's move on to this one right here um with this one let me start with the washi let me just add some washi at the bottom and just start there but I'm gonna put it like under this line Oh, that's kind of perfect there, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'll add one up here. Okay. And I want to add this little house is right here. It says, Hello Winter. I want to make sure I don't break it. I want to add that here in this corner. Maybe I should do it in the middle. We always do stuff in the corner. I'll do it in the middle. And I want to add the washi tape. Maybe I can just put the washi right here. And I wanted to add this candle right here. 
This one's going to be simple because I don't know how I'm going to use this. So I don't want to add a lot of stuff. And I think that's going to be all for this one. I wanted to add this, but I guess I have to save it for another time. Let me add this florals somewhere here. This new scissors that I got, they're pretty good because most of the time, whenever I'm cutting anything that has glue, it just falls down on my table. It doesn't stay stuck to the scissors. And I only pay like $4 for them, like $3.99. So I think that was a great deal. Let me just put that in there. And I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Because I think I will be using those um, headings that I have right now. And here I can just make my list for the week. Here is my main important goals for the week. And then here is I can just put anything that I want to do that week or the following week just as a reminder. And then just make a weekly note here of whatever it is. And if I don't have any weekly notes, I can just put a positive quote there. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. Now let's take a look at all the decorations that I did um, to start the year. I don't know if I want to add this here. So let's see. Let me pick this up and let's take a final look. So again, the sticker book that I used was this one from Live Love Touch. This one is Hello Winter. And let's look at what I did. This one, I did it off the screen. I just wanted to decorate the, the Currently page for January. I don't know if that's what it's called anymore. But that's what I'm calling it. The Currently page for January. So I wanted to make it um, a little bit wintry because I live in Florida. Let's face it. It gets really cold in here, but it's a different kind of cold than the north. So... It does goes down in the 40s and the 30s. We don't get any snow and it's just more like a dry cold that we get. Um, so that's my currently page for the month. This is my monthly for January. Yesterday coming from my mom's house, she lives an hour and a half away from me. I saw a deer last night. That was pretty cool. He was on the side of the highway just eating. So that was pretty cool. And this is going to be my weekly for the first week of the year the first week of 2024 the first week of january this is gonna be my weekly um i actually like it a lot i just find this a little bit empty so i really want to find the bullet points just so i can add that there and i think that would be great maybe add some in here and i think that would be perfect for this decoration i finally found them and they were in this jojo black sticker boxes this is the one that I was using, 532, and they were here in the 1485. So I added my black dots. I added some um, quotes. I added that quote. I added this one. That one says wing it. This one says you can. And this one says live for the moment you can't put into words. So I think that was perfect for the beginning of the year. I added the word list here, so tasks list. And then important. So anything that's important for me for the week that I need, I want to get done or I want to remember kind of as a memory keeping, then I will put, at the, put that in there. And then I added this bullet point right here. And then that's all I did. So thank you so much for staying here. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But if you liked and enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and have this 2024 together to spend time and get to know each other better let me know in the comments below what are your plans for 2024 i would like to know your two main goals for 2024 whether it's planning whether it's cash stuffing it doesn't matter what it is i would like your two main goals i would like to know them because i'm sharing my stuff with you and i would love for you guys to share your stuff with me so i'll see you guys in the comments and i'll also see you guys 
en my next video. Hasta pronto. Adiós.